I'm John Fry, I'm a Steadicam operator and DOP. Operate mainly in uh, corporate films, but I have done various TV and film features. You tend to dip into everything with uh, Steadicam, which is great. In 2003 or four, um, I wanted to work as a freelancer, and uh, that's easy enough to do as a sole trader. But starting a company or becoming a later uh, a limited company uh, gives you a bit of separation and protection. I enjoy the variety most about working in, in, in the film industry um, because you never know what sort of set you're going to be on the next week, the next day. As a freelancer, the opportunities you get are what you make. So if you sit at home and expect the phone to ring, uh, having bothered to do you know the barest website in the world, uh, you won't get any opportunities. Um, so uh, some of the best opportunities I've had uh, have been simply going and going to people and asking for, for work, or just meeting people, going out and meeting people at networking events, stuff like that. Some good advice uh, if you're looking to get into the film and TV industry is talk to as many people as possible, because opportunities will not come from Mandy or Facebook or any other places, or even your own website if it's amazing, because no one knows it's there unless you tell them. So the, the technology in film hasn't really affected my visibility to clients because the clients only see the end result or they meet you in real life. So the technology in film itself I don't think makes much difference. Technology around that, so the internet, that affects your visibility to clients because clients can see or follow your Instagram and then they say, oh I love this, <laughs> let's get that guy in. So the technology surrounding uh, in general has affected my visibility to clients. Streaming services are essentially a wider dissemination of, of information, right? So you've got multiple platforms with multiple uh, uh, ways of watching stuff on your phone, on the TV, whatnot. Um, and, you know, as a filmmaker or someone involved in filmmaking, uh, that's great because there's more chance that your film is going to get seen by someone. If you are a film producer, that's not necessarily the, you know what you want, or, or a director is not what you want, because you want your film to get in the cinema, right? And that's, a, and, and that's the ultimate way of still of watching a film. Would I consider distributing my film on streaming services? Well, depending on your, your budget and the profile your film gets, you have no option. Your film goes to a distributor to be distributed, and they will tell you what they think is best for it. If you're an independent filmmaker and you, you haven't really got quite the A-list cast you wanted, th there's no hope of getting in the cinema, generally speaking. So the distributor will, will decide and generally these days they, uh, they will go to streaming services, um, which means they get seen. So rather than being, you know, ending up in the bargain bucket in a DVD store somewhere or the petrol station, um, at least your stuff is out there available to a wide audience. The main ways that technology is changing the filmmaking process, it's making using multiple cameras easier and cheaper because you're shooting to a digital media now, you're not shooting to film, which was 250 quid to buy the roll of 400, the uh, 250 quid to process it, another 250 quid to telecine it. So in order to get five minutes of rushes, you needed to spend seven or 800 quid. Um, now you can shoot all day on these things and it not cost you anything. Creatively, we now have things like the gimbal systems and motion control rigs, stuff like that, are all out there now so that we can do imperceptibly precise moves at speed, repeatable, so things like visual effects have got a lot, of, uh, a lot better because the camera systems and the camera movement systems, camera support, has got better and more precise and the technology has evolved to allow these things to, to happen. Steadicam versus gimbal uh, and how I think about the two different technologies um, is almost like asking 
Steadicam versus Crane or Steadicam versus Tracking. They are different bits of equipment, they function differently, they require different skills to use and they achieve different results. If you want to feel like you're uh, the POV of your aggressor or your, your talent, you know, your character, Steadicam is much better for that because it's a much more natural movement. Okay? Um, if you want to be just a two second shot as part of a highlights corporate film or something, which we do all the time, I do that with a gimbal because it's quicker and easier and lighter and faster to set up and less obtrusive. But again, it, it all depends. It depends on what you want from a shot. And generally that's to do with the narrative. So the mood, the feel of what you're gonna shoot. Could you have shot The Shining on a gimbal? Possibly. Would it look and feel the same? No chance, because the way that the two systems function is totally different, and the results you get from them are totally different. Operating the piece of equipment is the is the the you know the bottom level of the the, the Steadicam ladder, right? The 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 really top Steadicam operators are the ones who plan the shots, really understand from the script what mood, what feeling needs to come out of that shot. And, and only a Steadicam can really do that because it's so finitely connected to you and your fingertip control. The gimbals and things are all very good at producing stable shots. But do they give you the experience and technique and expertise of a Steadicam operator? No. In terms of one versus the other, they are both good for different things. But the reason Steadicam costs more, the reason Steadicam operators cost more, the reason the setup is obviously bigger and more involved is because it gives you a bigger and more involved input into the story, the feeling of the film. So um, it's, not a, it's not which is better, it's which is better for what.